Hello everybody, this is Dr. Chirag Kapoor. I am an orthopedic surgeon, specialized in joint replacement and trauma surgeries. I have been in the medical profession since last 13 years. I have been trained in joint replacement surgeries from New Delhi, United Kingdom, Ireland and South Korea. We are seeing a lot of patients with knee problems. So today I will be answering a few questions and clearing doubts about knee replacement surgeries. Total knee replacement is a surgery in which we replace all the components of the knee joint. The knee joint has three components. I have a bone model to show you this. This is the medial compartment which is the inner compartment. This is the lateral compartment that is the outer portion of the knee. And this is the patellofemoral joint. So these are the three components. In knee replacement surgeries we exchange or we replace all three components. A knee replacement procedure is a very complicated procedure. In this, I'll show you all the bone model. In this procedure, what we do is we take cuts around the knee joints and remove the back portion of the knee joint. And then we place the implants. This is the implant, the golden portion. This is the femoral implant, that is the thigh bone implant. This is the tibial implant, which is in common language known as the shin bone implant. And in between these two metals, there is a polyethylene or plastic component which is known as the insert. This insert acts as a shock absorbing material between the two metals. Yeah, the artificial joint is made up of metal. The femoral component, this component, it is made up of chromium cobalt. The tibial component, it is made up of titanium. And this insert, it is made up of a material known as polyethylene. A patient should consider a knee replacement surgery if the activities of derailed wing are altered and even after taking all the conservative methods that is oral painkillers, injections and physical therapy, the patient has no relief from pain. Additionally, imaging tests such as MRI and X-ray should demonstrate a very severely arthritic knee joint before proceeding for a knee replacement surgery. The typical age for a total joint replacement surgery is between 50 to 80 years of age. Unfortunately, age is a factor, but I evaluate all the patients individually. An artificial joint is only as good as the mechanical bearing it contains. And the younger you are at the time of the initial surgery, there are high chances of the joint wearing out soon. Generally speaking, a knee replacement can last for about 15 to 20 years. However, the new studies are demonstrating that the newer joints have a lower rate of wearing out than previous joints. Over the first 6 to 8 weeks, 80% of the recovery process takes place. The remaining 20% takes about 6 months to occur. Patients can typically resume their activities of daily living after about 6 to 8 weeks of surgery. I recommend that the patient should discontinue any high impact activities after the surgery as this might cause the polyethylene component to wear off sooner than usual and this might require a possibility of an early revision surgery. Arthritis of the knee joint is a very serious and a debilitating illness and it should not be taken lightly. If the patient is suffering from knee pain for a very long period of time I would recommend and I would advise the patient to consult a doctor, consult an orthopedic surgeon first, then discuss the possibilities of the management. After getting the proper x-rays or MRI, discuss with your doctor whether you require a knee replacement surgery or not. A knee replacement surgery has a very good success rate and it is a life-changing procedure for a patient. So rather than suffering with a severe pain, I advise patients to go for the surgery if there is a requirement. Thank you for watching my video. And for more such informative videos, please subscribe to iOnline.com.